Good, happy Sunday evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this edition of Sports with Riley King. Let's begin. Let's take a look at your high school football results from Saturday. The home team is the team on the left in each matchup. Scores are in the present, so let's Take a look at those scores. And here's a look at all the high school football teams from yesterday that played. And here are a look at all the scores from yesterday's high school football. And there you have it. Saturday High School Football Results. The Red Sox versus Astros Game 2 lineup. Let's take a look at the video from Nesson. You get a job, so you open a checking account, and then a savings account, a mortgage, a home equity loan, and some retirement accounts, which means you're working with, what, half a dozen financial institutions? Maybe it's time to consolidate your financial life with just one of them. At People's United Bank, we can give you everything under one convenient roof, from checking to mortgages to investments. Life is complicated. Banking doesn't have to be. Visit peoples.com. People's United Bank, N.A., member FDIC, equal housing lender. The Red Sox look to bounce back while still on home turf as they head into Game 2 of the ALCS against the Astros. Here's what you need to know ahead of game time. The Sox lost Game 1 on Saturday night, 7-2 against the reigning World Series champs. The Red Sox send David Price to the mound in the second matchup. Price's teams are 0-10 when the lefty starts in the postseason, while the Astros send Garrett, whose last start was Game 2 in the ALDS versus the Indians, that lasted seven innings where he allowed zero runs and had 12 strikeouts. Buckle up, Boston. This could get bumpy. Nesson coverage of Game 2 will kick off at 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay, and there you go on a look at Game 2 of the Red Sox. And it begins, Game 2 of the Red Sox is at 7.02 p.m. tonight. And Patriots versus Chiefs preview. And let's watch part of the video of Nesson Preview Game Show. Cox and Matt Chatham at Gillette Stadium. Patriots taking on the undefeated Chiefs. This is really the game of the first half of the season here for the Patriots. Patriots offense is dealing with a couple injuries. We'll see if some of these playmakers can, can play tonight. But Sonny Michel reportedly a game-time decision with that knee injury that he's been dealing with since the summer and really since his college career started. Or, yeah, really, because he suffered the ACL yeah. in high school. Um, and wide receiver Chris Hogan is dealing with a thigh injury. Didn't practice on Thursday. Was back out there on Friday. So we'll see if he can play as well. But... Those guys are pretty important to the Patriots offense, and especially Michelle, if he can't play, that would be a big deal. Yeah, well, I think Sony's obviously the biggest story there. Hopefully Chris is available as well, but I think they've got some depth and some options at the wide receiver position. Look at how different the Patriots offense, though, has been the last couple of weeks with the, the sort of reinvention of that running game. And that's just, in my view, been giving Sony better opportunities. Night and day, this team, when they can spread you out, they don't allow you to pack the box. 
And then you watch some of those games where Sony's, you know, getting the ball and hitting his head against the wall uh, against Detroit and against Jacksonville. Those same runs, same scheme when you've got them widened out a bit. My hits, he go hits it for 15 and doesn't have to make a cut to the second level. So hopefully he's healthy. I think availability is one thing. As Doug mentioned, maybe he's doing a little pregame workout and available. But available and able to get a full number of reps, I think that's a bigger thing because it's Barner than yeah. another option or, or James White, obviously, more as a passing back. I, I totally agree. That's what, that's what I was just going to touch on, just the lack of depth there. Yeah. It's, really, this team has, has had pretty terrific running back depth throughout the last four, five, six years. that they, they would go into some games last year with five active running backs. Right now they only have three on the active roster, and two of them are, are kind of limited players. I mean, James White is obviously a terrific pass catcher, but he's never really been a between-the-tackles runner. Kenyon Barner's never really even been an offensive player throughout his career. He's basically been a special teams guy. So, yeah, if Michelle can't go, that really kind of hamstrings the offense a little bit here. Yeah, and I think that we do. Okay, and there you go on part of that video of the pregame. For the Patriots. And game time is at 8.20 p.m. tonight on NBC Boston. The 3-2 to two Patriots have looked better the last two weeks after a rough beginning to the season, but they're about to face their biggest test yet. Led by Phantom quarterback Patrick Mahomes, the Chiefs' offense ranks second in the NFL in points scored and is matchup nightmare for any defense, let alone New England's medical unit. Kansas City does have a price defense, however, which should allow Tom Brady and CO to keep pace on the scoreboard. It's going to be a good game to watch tonight. Main Mainers lose first game. Let's take a listen to the video from WMTW News 8. Lamey Wellahan has all the great new Dansko fall styles. From casual to dress to clogs and more, you're sure to find the style that's right for you. Go the extra mile, love what you do, and do your best to make the world a better place. Lamey Wellahan, New England's Dansko destination. Last night as the Maine Mariners made their ECHL debut, the Adirondack Thunder would score just 62 seconds into the Mariners' existence. The Thunder added two more goals to make it three to nothing before Jason Solvagio. That's the first Mariners goal ever on the power play. And Maine loses six to three, but they are back home on Friday night looking for that first win. The Boston Bruins won their... Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And that is it for this edition of Sports with Riley King. I hope you all enjoyed this edition of Sports with Riley King. I'll see you back here tomorrow night for another edition of Sports with Riley King. Good night, everyone. Bye.